on West and right across Noble, mm -hmm. around that there. There's a big building that's being this big construction and all kinds of stuff there. Heavy, 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 heavy duty stuff. And that's again another change. When you, right now you're going to build this, when you're talking about the, how strong the roadway is, when you're talking how much, you know, how much it has to hold, it has to be much, much stronger built right now for all of these trucks than in reality is going to be needed in another 10 years or so. So that's another waste of money. I'll, I'll say I mean, one thing. It feels thing. like that to me. And are you going to fix I, the streets going away? I understand, away I understand what you're saying. If you saw the list of grants and what's in these grants on my desk, you would shake your head. They can give you so many other streets and green uh, point that can yeah. uh, Let me say one thing Street. really quick. Green Street. Me, is that, that let me just say one thing as per the schedule. The schedule is really optimistic right now. Yes, that's the way that we would like to see the project go. But like you guys are mentioning, there's some very complex things out there on these streets. So we need to make sure we do our due diligence well. And we need to make sure that we're doing this at the right time. And that we're getting this right for future uses as well. Pave so. the street. Put green lines on it and let, the, and let it go and do the rest something else. The street's pretty substandard right now. The, the, streets, <laughs> the street's pretty bad right now. I think that we, uh, the, the, actually, the new construction is going to rip. Uh, it's going to destroy it. If we do it now, the construction won't uh, impact that much. And then only only thing that will require at later date is repaving, which is just a uh, overlay. It's so it's going to be as good as new. Kent Avenue is a great yeah. example of that. You guys have all that driven all down. Been no, no, down. but think about it. They put up a tower there after they rebuilt the street, and the paving more or less is correct. Good enough for me to ride my bicycle on. It, and you guys. I'm sorry, Ron, you want to go? I mean, first, regarding the, the funding, I mean, I think it's, look, obviously it's an accomplishment to, to cobble together all these grants and have that pot of money, and that the uh, congresswoman has been very generous, and we have it. Yeah. So you don't want to shelve it or put it to something else. It probably doesn't fit for something else, and Thank you. that's understood. I think the point that, that Christine is saying, that I've been communicating to, to you and, and to, to you the whole time is that the staggered schedule of the construction that's going to happen on every single block in West Street over the next 10 to 15 years is going to be so uh, overwhelming that there won't be any continue, you won't be able to have a continuation of use of the bike lanes of anything particularly. Right. You have, and right now the condition on the street is that West Street has abandoned trailers left and right. I don't see that changing because you you know, want to have the bike lane there, the people who have it there, uh, have all those properties, have their own agenda, their own money, their right. own timetables, their own, and the, that's going to be the priority, not whether there's a continuity of, of this, you know, of this amenity, which is great, but it, I, I don't, we don't see how, over the long stretch of this, it's, it's ever going to be a straight, straight path, starting in, as soon as the Halen builds the property, and, and I no totally agree. You're yeah. right. You're right. It's you're going to deal with construction for a long time, but you know what you're going to get afterwards, as opposed to Kent Avenue. You're going to get standard sidewalks that work well for the community and the uses that are going to be up there. But does it matter whether or not that construction starts in 2011 versus in, in 2021? You can't change the curb lines. That's like the one thing the construction guys cannot do. They can't rip up the sewer all along the street in order to replace their sewer for their building. You just, you can't, like, I question, I'm thinking of an example. It, it happens in some cities, but in New York, it's very uncommon that they would tear up a sidewalk in order, and change the actual curb line for something. It just yeah, well, doesn't the, happen. The curb lines that's set under this project will be set, but I think you guys are making a good point, which is that um, our, as we design, we should be cognizant that there will be a lot of construction going on by developers following the implementation of the capital project, potentially, depending on the timing of both things, which right. none of us have full control over. And so our selection of materials should take that into account and should be things that is pretty e easy or practical that a contractor will put it back the way he found it. You know, maybe things shouldn't be so fancy that he can't match them in the place you know, doesn't look well. He's required to match them. I mean, but as we all know, they, you know, 
I'm sorry, but again, you know, I'm going to go back to this. You know, um, my concerns are, you know, we really, the community really wanted these bike lanes on the water. You know, and we have an opportunity now to work with those current developers to get it implemented on the water. Mm -hmm. West Street will only be you know, for recreation. Mm -hmm. You know, the commuters even said themselves they will continue down Franklin Street. So to spend this, you know, this money when we're going to really need it to develop the waterfront, the actual waterfront. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I really think you guys need to look at that. 